Hi everyone, good afternoon, happy Friday. Look who I have with me today. This is Cindy from a county and she is the first line of defense for Dot Loop and making sure that your contracts or where have everything in them that we need so that we can make sure that you as a realtor are protected and that your files are complete. Thanks for doing this, Cindy. You're welcome. Cindy sees so much stuff inside in day, day in and day out from you guys that is incomplete and causes us to have to send the files back to you to be corrected. What we'd like to do is save both you and Cindy and myself and Alex a lot of time by addressing some of the issues that we're seeing in the DOP loop files as they are presented to us. Cindy, what's one of the most common things you're seeing? Um, it's mostly initials, signatures that you see that are missing. Um, if, they're, if it's marked on the contract that it should be there, then I'm going to look for it and I'm going to email you about it and be like, hey, where's the lead based paint? You've got lead based paint checked on it. So that kind of thing. Um, you know, and just the forms in general, is the form completed? Like our ATR doesn't always get completed. It's really nice to have both sides. Right. Because to try and enter into the system, you literally are on page one, page 11, page 12, page two, and you bounce around and that takes extra time. Takes extra time. Please remember that Cindy also is reviewing almost all of the contracts for all of our 11 offices. And so it's really important that we don't waste any any time because what our goal is not to be punitive to you or to do anything to to uh, cause you extra work is to make sure that your file is complete and that it should you ever have your files reviewed by the real estate commission or if there's ever a complaint file that we have all of our ducks in a row that all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed so you Cindy is outstanding at identifying which documents should be included with the offer to purchase with the listing agreement that also has been sent in with, with an offer to purchase. As an example, if we have the listing and a contract comes in, the listing agreement and the contract go up to Cindy. Mm -hmm. She reviews to make sure everything is there, that it's signed properly, that it's initialed properly, mm -hmm. and that any of the addendums that have been identified as being present are in reality present. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. What is something that the agents can do to make things a little bit easier for you? Example. Can they put all of their contract files in one folder and all of their like disclosure, like uh, uh, the, the pamphlet for home inspections? Is it better for you if those are put in a separate folder that you don't have to dig through to find the file you're looking for? Yeah. It, it's nice to have the ones where, you know, if they have their listing paperwork and they have a listing, con you know, the contract, the listing goes under contract. Um, you know, if something happens to the contract, we can take the contract, you know, like close up that folder, let it be terminated, withdrawn, whatever, and you still have your listing paperwork. So you don't have to do a new loop each time that you want to put a contract in on this. You can just do a new folder. Um, it's also good just to have, you know, your, you've got, I can look into one and go, okay, I know I'm going to be looking for the listing paperwork, the working real estate agents down here. Okay, here's the contract, here's all the contract addendums, you know. it it just makes it easier to be able to tell which part you're looking for so certain forms that you're looking for and it, when it's all together in one you kind of look at it and you have to go through and open each and every one of them you do as an example i know that we have to alex and i have to review these after cindy reviews them and she tries to get them as complete as possible then we look at them from a real estate perspective a legal perspective not just are there initials and are there signatures and if all the addendum are are uh, present, but are they correct? Have they been completed correctly? So I know that if you have a listing and that listing, and you get a contract on that listing, if all, which Cindy just said, if all your listing paperwork is in a listing folder, then you add another folder and put all the contract information in that folder. And then let's say that contract then terminates, we can close that folder and it is separate from your listing paperwork that stays active. And when you have another offer come in, you open up a new n folder for the new offer. Mm -hmm. Then Cindy knows exactly where to go to to find the new information to review it for its accuracy and that all the signatures and initials are present. Anything else that you can think of that you see as a common error that we all are making that uh, tends to eat up your day? 
I don't know about eating up my day, but um, be aware in dot loop that when you change a form, it's not going to, you know, anytime you have a form, you have your people and they've signed it, if they go, if you go in and go, okay, well, I'm going to change the commission amount on the listing agreement, you do that, all of your initials and all your signatures go away. Um, I had that happen with an agent this week where they had an addendum to the um, contract for the date and then they changed the um, price of it. So they changed the price, it erased the addendum. So when I went to ask for it and said, hey, you know, what day are we looking at closing? Because this is already past the listing agreement expiration date anyway. And, um, you know, she was like, it's there. And it took a good 30 minutes of going through dot loop to having to go back into earlier versions of it to find the original one that had been initialed. And that signed. had been initialed and signed properly. So you got to like new form if you're going to do any changes. New form. New form. Or we have amendments to the contract. So you don't necessarily have to reinvent the wheel. If you change something in a listing agreement or you change something in an offer to purchase, we have addendums that you can use so that you can leave the original paperwork intact and then you can add this addendum to it. Is that correct? Yes. That's right. So we hope a few of these we hope a few of these hints will be helpful to you. It'll help us avoid having to send so much work back to you. It'll help us process the files more accurately and quicker. And it certainly eventually, uh, as we grow more and more familiar with Dot Loop, this is an excellent tool, and we want everybody to embrace it and love it as much as we do. <laughs> and that it's all helping you keep your files in correct order and appropriate for anybody to review them at any point in the future should there ever be any questions. And um, just so everybody's aware, I am now sitting outside of accounting, a kind of diagonal from Robin Atkins' office. Um, if you have any questions, you're not sure how to work in, within a form, let me know. I can come to you or you can come to me. I'm available. You know, I, I can schedule time if you want to schedule time to work on things. Just let me know. That's right. Okay. Seek us out. And let's do this. Let's do it once. Do it right. And then go out and sell real estate. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Sandy. Okay.